first, I want to start with the tools we'll be using. Um, to remove the jet itself, this is a quarter inch uh, nut driver. We'll need a Torx T20 wrench to remove the castle assembly, uh, just your standard quarter inch GC wrench to remove the nut, and then a tweezers to pull the jets off. So just to be safe, uh, we're also going to turn down the system here. Uh, so there's a power switch on the 7090 right there. We're going to hit that, so now we're safe to work on the system. Uh, so I just need to simply loosen the nut right here with my wrench, and we'll pull the rest out here. We'll take our T20, we'll loosen these guys. Now when I, like to, when I pull the castle off, I like to make sure uh, we're careful because there's a sensitive spring underneath here that we don't want to uh, jangle too much. So I'm just going to pull it out and back like this. And we'll just insert it into here, being careful not to touch that spring there. It's very sensitive. We'll just loosen it. Take the tweezers, and the jet should come right out there. Looks like I didn't loosen it enough. It's all right. Just catching on that last thread there. There we go. So you can see our jet right here. So we're just going to do the same steps we did uh, in reverse, basically. So we're going to drop it in there with the tweezers first, taking care not to touch that spring if possible. And once you have it about halfway in, you're going to drop it. And then we'll just tighten it down. You'll feel the torque increase right there. That's when we're starting to go against that weld point, and we're just going to tighten it pretty good. Spring on this side of the collector, and it should just drop down. It'll kind of feel satisfying. Get right, right there. So we're in there flush with the bottom. You can see there. Push up until you hit the tip of it and back it off about a millimeter. So we're just going to guide it on there first. We'll tighten this on, 